Jessie V and in today's video I'm going to be continuing sort of what my last video was about urban legends this time I'm specifically talking about legends from Hong Kong and honestly these ones are even scarier than the last ones in my opinion and speaking of scary do you like my shirt normal people scare me it's just it's so true okay so we're gonna jump right into this video in just a second but just in case you have not seen my last video I just announced that we launched our Easter mystery boxes but this time there's a twist to it. You guys know how much I love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and I love how they found those golden tickets in the chocolate bars. So I am doing something very similar myself and I'm placing three of these golden tickets randomly in the boxes. So there'll be three lucky winners who find them. When you receive one you will see a code and an email so you have to send your code to the email address provided to claim your prize and the prizes are things like appearing virtually in one of my videos, getting a personalized video for from me. Another one is me writing you a long letter, mailing it to you, and also including a signed art print. So yeah, I'm just so excited to see who these three winners will be, and I'm just going to quickly show you what is in the Easter boxes. So because we always do a really cute plushie, this time we have a little carrot plushie because of Easter. These are called Palm Pals, and they're just so adorable. Then we have two different pairs of socks, and what's so cool is that the wings on these socks glow in the dark. So we have flying pigs, we have flying llamas super magical. Then we have these things called egg puzzles, which I find really intriguing. I love doing weird things like this. It's something to keep your mind occupied and they all have different levels on them. So the skull egg is level nine. This one is level 10. We have another one that's level six and it has all the instructions on the back of how to complete this very interesting egg puzzle. We also have unicorn and mermaid fizzies. So you just have to put these into water. It could be a glass, a bowl in your bathtub. And inside there will be a unicorn and a mermaid. Then and we've got these really cute fuzzy Easter bunny pens. I love how they're so fluffy and all the bunnies are in this really cute rose gold which I love. And lastly there is a sparkling Jesse V laptop sticker. Now you can put this anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the back of your laptop but that's sort of how I designed it to be. It's just the perfect size. All right guys so if you would like one of these Easter mystery boxes I have put a link down below in the description. Remember we only have 200 and overnight we've almost sold a hundred. So if you guys would like to grab one to see if you can get the golden ticket definitely do so very soon but yeah I have linked it down below all right guys so let's get into these urban legends the first one is called the bride's pool nestled within Plover Cove Country Park rests an idyllic waterfall trickling into a shallow pool of rocks and this is the place called the bride's pool people say it got its name when a bride was being carried by what's called a sedan chair to a nearby village and that's where her husband-to-be was waiting for her so she was making like this grand entrance on this chair. People were carrying her, but suddenly one of the men carrying her slipped in the rain, causing her to fall into the rapids. Her body was never found, making for a very tragic ending as she was never reunited with her love. So her husband was waiting for her and she never made it there, which is horrible. Today, some people report seeing a woman dressed in red, brushing her hair near the majestic waters. So yeah, apparently this place is beautiful, but it's also also a really ominous place to be because of the backstory. Next we have the Sai Kung Mystic Realm. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Sai Kung is a popular hiking spot for many, but the many disappearances of hikers has led people to believe that there could be an entrance to another parallel timeline or dimension here. So people also call this place the Mystic Realm, and people have also compared it to being just as bad as the Bermuda Triangle. Now the most infamous incident that happened here was back in 2005. An off-duty police officer got lost while hiking and dialed for help, but when asked to name his coordinates to the dispatcher, he gave out numbers that could not be located by the dispatcher using the government registry. And to this day, he remained missing. So he called because he was lost, gave them the exact coordinates of where he was, and they said those coordinates did not exist where he was. So that is definitely terrifying. People think he entered an alternate dimension, which obviously would have alternate coordinates. One month later, four mountain hikers embarked on an unforgettable journey, and one of those people was an experienced Boy 
scout leader and he was there with three other women. Now they were hiking along and eventually got to the spot where apparently this off-duty police officer went missing originally. The 23 year old scout leader began to feel very sick in this spot and he told the three women that he had to sit and sort of compose himself and that they should keep going and he'll catch up to them later. Well he went missing and two days later the police found his body. Then skip forward to 2009, a bus driver also went missing while hiking here. His family called his cell phone and a fisherman answered. The fisherman said that he found the cell phone while he was fishing and no one knew where the man was. And then in 2011, another person called the emergency number for help while hiking in the area. And while this lost person was talking to the emergency line, suddenly the phone call just cut out. Like the conversation ended super abruptly. And that person went missing to this very day. So yeah, this area is just super scary. There are many theories and the most popular one, like I said, is that the area has an energy barrier that swallows people in a parallel world or time. Others think the area is just haunted by spirits that trick people. But scholars, however, argued the rocks in the region have a magnetic field that malfunctions compasses and affects phone receptions. So that's sort of like the logical explanation, but people still say no, there's something very wrong here. Okay, next we have something called the voices in the sink. There's a legend about an entity that lingers in the sinks of your home. It could be in the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink, the laundry sink, wherever it chooses. And this all started one day when a teenage boy was washing the dishes for his mother. He filled up the sink with hot soapy water and began cleaning. And as he was doing so, he began to hear this muffled voice coming from somewhere near him, but he was struggling to understand what exactly it was saying. When he realized it sounded like it was coming from underneath the water in the sink, he leaned over to bring his head closer. He swore it sounded like someone speaking backwards. And obviously he instantly became very afraid. And just as he was about to back away, the water began bubbling and two arms emerged from the depths and pulled him in, drowning him right there in the kitchen. So they say that if you want to test out if you have this entity in your house and to make sure that you're safe, all you have to do is fill one of your sinks up with water and wait. If it starts bubbling, if you start to hear any like backwards talking coming from it, that's how you know you're not okay. And lastly, we have a legend called the ghostly takeaway. Back in December of 1989, there was a cafe in Hong Kong that received a phone order for four people's worth of food to be delivered to a house. Upon arrival at the flat, the delivery boy rang the doorbell and the door opened just a crack. And then strangely, money was slipped through that tiny little crack and the person inside the flat mumbled that he wanted the food to be left on the floor outside of the door. So the delivery guy didn't think much of it and headed back to the restaurant. Well, when the owner of the cafe was cashing out the register that night, he discovered a stack of what's called afterlife money, which is basically paper that's printed to look like real money. And it's burned by locals for the dead to use in the afterlife. Now all the staff claim to have nothing to do with it, but a couple of days later, there was more afterlife money in the cash register once again, making the connection that a delivery had been made to the same apartment again that day and thinking it as a tasteless prank. The furious owner said that he would deliver the food himself if another order from the same address should come through. So sure enough, they received a call the next day. So the owner made the trip himself and tried to peek through the gap when the door was opened. He couldn't make out anything. And he left after making sure the money he received was indeed Hong Kong dollars. But that evening, the money had once again transformed into these ghostly notes. And because now the owner was thoroughly spooked, he decided to call the police. When the authorities forced their way into the unresponsive apartment, they discovered the grisly scene of four bodies on the floor. By the state they were in, it had been determined that they had been dead for a very long time, like weeks. The creepy thing was their neighbors claimed to have heard the sound of music coming from the flat recently. And so they did not think anything was wrong. It still sounded like there was people inside the apartment. Now, this is the most disgusting part. The coroner was in complete disbelief because there was food in their digestive system that had only been there for about a day or so, which obviously was something that shouldn't have been possible seeing as they had died weeks ago. Now, apparently this case was said to have made national newspapers and people were so freaked out. I don't know if that part is true, but this story is definitely very creepy. Anyways, guys, those are all the stories that I will be telling today. If you want me to continue doing urban legend videos, give this video a thumbs up 
and let me know. And don't forget if you would like one of the new Easter mystery boxes with the golden tickets, I have linked them down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!